गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माय नेम इज विकास रंजन नायक टुडे विल स्टडी पोटेंशियल ऑफ रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सोर्सेस प्रीवियसली वी स्टडी अबाउट रिन्यूएबल एंड नॉन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सोर्सेस दीज रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सोर्सेस हैव सो मेनी एडवांटेजेस बट लिटिल बिट ऑफ डिसएडवांटेजेस इन इन स्पाइड ऑफ सम these little bit disadvantages it has so many advantages so that we use this renewable energy safely because it is environment friendly and it has low carbon emission now let uh, now see how we use this renewable energy one type of renewable energy here geothermal energy okay geothermal energy geo what do you mean by geothermal energy geothermal energy is a greek word which consists of two word one geo and one therm जियो मीन्स आर्थ जियो मीन्स आर्थ एंड थर्म मीन्स हिट दैट मीन्स इट जियो थर्माल जियो थर्माल रेफर्स दैट द हिट इन साइड इन आवर आर्थ दे आर फॉर जियो थर्माल एनर्जी इज द हिट फ्रॉम द आर्थ कोर ऑफ द आर्थ आवर आर्थ कोर कंसिस्ट ऑफ many layers and our core of earth consists many radioactive radioactive particles by which the heat is produced now let's see the layer of our earth the core is also called iron core then next layer is magma layer where jo uh, where we can see uh, lava and next is mantle mantle layer where we can see a big 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 rocks then outer layer outermost layer is called called crust where we can see small rocks and dust particles etc the temperature the temperature get arised when we going deeper in the earth surface when we go to the deeper and deeper of the earth surface the temperature of the earth surface is arised because the core consists of lava like lava magma radioactive particles that's why the temperature arises when we go to the deeper of the earth surface then due to the temperature difference between the earth core and the upper surface of the earth there is a constant heat flow in the surface of earth with average value of value of above 63 kilowatt per kilometer square means ei eri mane etiki energy flow ho ji kemiti na earth surface tharu core bahut garam to ei jo temperature difference ho ji ei temperature difference dwara amaro etiki energy in average ame estimate kuchu flow ho ji aur se temperature difference kemiti ho ji dekho dhoro let's say this is a cut out of our earth when this is our top topmost layer which is crust okay when we go down and down let's say 200 2000 km deeper there is uh, where the temperature is 4000 degree celsius when we go down to 6000 km the temperature arises 
फाइव हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस टेम्परेचर वेरिएशन दिस टेम्परेचर वेरिएशन क्रिएट ए एनर्जी ए हीट फ्लो इफ इफ वी कंसीडर दिस हीट फ्लो एज एन एवेलेबल एनर्जी सोर्सेस द वर्ल्ड एनुअल एवरेज 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 एनुअल एवेलेबल एनर्जी को एनर्जी कुड बी एब थ्री इंटू टेन टू एट ट्वेंटी जोन दिस दिस हाई मच एनर्जी वी कैन गेट फ्रॉम दिस टेम्परेचर वेरिएंट ओके नेक्स्ट वी कैन सी देर आर वेरियस वे ऑफ यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ जियोथर्मल एनर्जी सोर्सेस वेन आई वेन हेर वेन उ जियोथर्मल एनर्जी एज ए सोर्स we can get many type of or many category of utilization from that geothermal energy like one dry steam sources what is dry steam sources from at surface we get dry steam why it is called dry steam because this steam steam means we know the vapor of water but here the water partic- particle of that steam hot steam is negligible so that it is called dry steam sources we can use this dry steam sources to run turbine subsequently we produce electricity okay next we next we next category of utilization is wet steam sources previously we see dry steam sources where the water particle is negligible but in wet steam sources the water particle is more than dry steam so that it is called wet steam sources we use wet steam as like as dry steam to run turbine and subsequently produce electricity okay next we see hot water sources okay in hot water sources we use this host this hot water sources to heat or or we can use this hot water to get hot steam and subsequently we run turbine with that and we get electricity same as with dry steam sources okay next next we can see hot water rock hot water rock previously i tell you that our our uh, earth previously i tell you that i told you that our earth mental layer has consist of big rocks due to the temp- high temperature inside our core of earth these rocks got heated so by using these these by using these hot dry hot rocks we allow the stream of water flow through these hot rocks and get hot steam hot stream of water and also hot steam then we can use these hot water and steam as like dry steam sources and wet steam sources 
that means we use this hot water or steam to run turbine and produce electricity okay then we see then then we study about power generation technology by using these sources we produce power in a large amount using our power planet plants okay let's see one is direct steam general uh, di direct steam geothermal plant in this plant we use geothermal directly here we use direct coming steam from the earth well to feed the turbine directly we feed geothermal to the turbine next here we use some separator to remove small sand and rocks from our direct steam because this steam coming from our earth so with this with this steam we can get some big rocks small rocks which uh, destroy our plants so we use separator to separate these small and big particles or rocks from steam okay next we see Pla next we see plus power plant plus steam power plant here i'll here i provide some diagram here what happened this type of plant is used when source produce high temperature hot water and a mixture of steam and hot water if the source or if the source produce hot water very hot water like 150 degree celsius and or or a mixture of steam and hot water this source can be used in this plant to produce electricity okay by how we produce electricity let us discuss okay firstly from produce from production well we get hot stream of water then we feed the feed the these stream of hot water to separator i told previously that we use separator in direct stream geothermal plant plant here also we use a some separator which separate rocks small rocks or big rocks from direct from uh, this sources like hot water sources then we from separator we get hot steam which is feed to turbine which feed to turbine then from turbine we connect generator to get electricity okay now we get electricity but this turbine from this turbine some steam go to steam condenser this is steam condenser in this steam condenser this hot steam condense condense to a cold water flow water steam stream hello okay by how this steam condenser send this hot steam to cooler tower in this cooler tower there is so many fan which cool down the temperature of hot steam then it then it then it output go to injection well injection well means we send the 
cold water into our earth to reuse after that okay next we see binary cycle power plant binary in binary circle power plant binary water refers for second fluid for use of second fluid instead of instead of geothermal fluid okay in binary why this is called binary binary cycle power plant because because binary because this power plant use second fluid second fluid instead of geothermal steam previously uh, in two previously in two um, power plants here and here we use geothermal steam as a source but here we use secondary second fluid what is second fluid second fluid we bore well water we, uh, means we use cold water to here we uh, previously in flash steam and direct steam power plant we use heated hot steam or hot water but here in binary cycle water power plant we use borewell water or cold water and after that we preheated them and we preheated and boiled boil and sent to boiler boiler in boiler this preheated water get hot get heated and this and this heated water or this uh, from this heated water we get high pressure vapor which feed to turbine and from turbine we can get electricity and after we get electricity this hot pressure vapor get low get no this hot pressure vapor became low pressure vapor and going to water good condenser here same as previously flash steam power plant steam condenser here water cool steam condenser these hot water steam vapors get cooled and send sent to the cooling tower same as previous plant then we get cold water we get cold water from cooling tower and send back to the send back to the preheater this is called cycle means we use hot vapor to produce to produce electricity and send back this hot this hot to condenser and from condenser we get low cold water steam and we get back that to preheated and this process repeat again so they so that it is called cyclic power plant okay